Hi chums, right if I fall over and collapse I'm, don't be surprised, I'm really tired but we'll see why. Okay so this is the bedroom, alright I'll go over here where you can maybe see better and as you remember I'm sure if you've been a devotee of my videos for which I'm very thankful and please believe that um, there's where the, the wall was all cut away and now we've got plaster up to the ceiling now there's moulding to go in here but not yet okay but uh, that'll be done later on but this is trimmed just easily but as you can see all up and down the walls now these obviously the plaster is slightly thicker these are the joins so there's scrim and stuff so it takes a bit longer to dry there because the water goes in between the boards a wee bit so that's the boards up and all and then what they did here was um, you can see there there's marks there and there that's where the radiator is mounted so they, they put um, pressure treated timber behind the plaster so when we, can, when we drill in we're drilling into something and not boast because there's thermal boards along there so what they do is they take some of the stuff out and put the board at the back and then you can drill through and you're into a wooden board that's, that's been attached to the wall but look at the lovely corners and the windows and all like that we never had that before you know so they're really really nice and then over here um more and then see what happened was this wall was done yesterday so it's not dried as much this they do this wall and this wall and the opposite wall they do opposite walls and the next day they do the other opposite walls so they've got a dry wall to work to and a nice corner and there's the map of Italy and you can actually almost see the map of Italy because there it is there all the dark stuff is with the deeper with the, the, the plaster is thicker even there's boards along there but there's still a lot of plaster there you know and uh, what do you call it so that's all to dry out and then along the bottom doesn't matter if it touches there because that's inside the house no damp but please note here along here I'll go down with the picture of the camera there's a space along the wall right along the bottom so this time the damp will not come around the, the silicone and up the inside but the best part of this is if the damp has to get through it wants to get through it has to get through the new plaster which is which is sealed um it's, it's got a waterproof in it it's also to get through the insulation the foil insulation on the back of the foam it then has to get through an inch of foam then it has to get through the foil and it can't actually get it's physically impossible for it to go through the foam and then it has to get through the foil on the back of the plasterboard it's because they're attached onto the foam sheets so it's basically no more damp that's the bottom line you know and what they do here is they come around the corner here to as that was an external wall one time just to make sure there's no damp issues and bring they bring it around the corner and that's that done so the living room um, you'll see a bit of a change here look at that isn't that lovely now it looks all wet and stuff you know but at least we've got our floor back if you're doing this sort of work in your house go and get sheets of hardboard okay and put them on the floor because what it will mean is the guys can work on the floor they can spill water they can spill cement and everything else and after a month of travel in and out through the house of carrying buckets of stuff in and buckets of stuff out and plastering and very wet and all the rest of it you lift your boards up and your floor is just like new now obviously it's a bit dusty and stuff and needs polished but it's perfect and perfect condition it's not boasted it's not lifting up it's not blown or anything you know but as you can see all along the outside wall doesn't touch the ground and it doesn't touch the ground the ground along most of that wall as well they just kept it up because they even use wee packers you know and then the skirting board six inch skirting boards go along the bottom so that'll tidy that up and that's the same there's my wee vac there's another drop box guys and um, the vacuum cleaner and then it goes into the drop box and then out onto the hose and that's the way it works i'll just show you it here just for interest sake I'll, I'll just separate them out so you can see exactly the, the way it works All right and that's it right so there it is right the stuff goes up the nozzle of the hose it goes up into the drop box there the stuff going in that there it gets blown in there along the side of this thing like a cyclone and the stuff drops to the bottom 
clean air comes out of the bin there and goes to the vacuum cleaner and that keeps the vacuum cleaner working at 100% efficiency. And filters don't get clogged, you never have to clean them and all the dirt and stir goes in there which is really brilliant if you have to lift something wet or something, it just goes into that instead. That's a little bucket I got in Lidl or Lidl um, for a few pounds for lifting ash out of a fireplace. You can attach that to your, your fireplace and just like there and suck out all the ash from your fireplace into that wee bucket and it'll, there's a wasp around me here. Um, and it will uh, mean that you don't have dirt all over the screen here. But it'll mean that you don't burn your hoover, right? So as I say, folks, isn't it nice? I've got my TV back up again because uh, it's not a big TV. It's only 32 inch LG TV. It's one of those type high definition, whatever it is, you know, but I, there's no point in putting them. Look at, all the, look at all the size of this room, you know. It's only 12 by 13, you know. It's only a very small room. Can you imagine what a 50 inch TV would look like in here? It would be insane. That's, that's plenty big enough for a room like this. Especially considering I only watch YouTube now. And motorbikes. TVs for motorbikes. And my wife likes crime drama. Crime, crime, crime dramas? What's that? Crime dramas. So that's it. So as I say, these walls here. That wall there was done on Thursday, so it's almost dry. These walls here are the ones that have got the, what do you call it, the foam behind them. So they were done, that wall there, this wall and the one behind me were done on Thursday. And then this wall here and that wall there with the fireplaces, they were done on Friday. So that's the inside done completely. All now I have to do is get the skirting boards on and we're gonna wait for a while to let it dry out for a week or so and then we'll put those on and we can start decorating. But I was told a better idea to do is we're going to put carpet in the bedroom. Um, Ireland, people in Ireland, in Ireland like well, in this in this sort of northern temperate zone like carpet because it's much warmer in the winter. Um, it's not like you put carpet in the ground in, in Spain or Italy or somewhere, but we would use carpet here for heat purposes. Remember what this little place looked like? It was just a disaster from start to finish. But look at it now, all lovely and pristine. And once again, the space along the floor, and that's all insulated cardboard, right? So we'll go outside and let you see what's happening here. The, um, you're not gonna see a big difference, okay? There's the hardboard, guys, that I was using. Now, oh, just on, on cost, those sheets cost about five pounds each, six pounds each, six pounds each, which is about $10, and I bought six of them. And that did the whole the whole front room and the hall. So for sixty dollars, I saved the floor. So it's not much, but a wee tip for you: Why are they so clean? Because on the back of them, it's all the dirt. When you're putting these down for the guys to work, put the shiny side onto the floor and the rough side up, because that gives them something to grip on. Could you imagine the guys on the stilts trying to move about in that shiny surface? But what were we doing today? Today we were putting in sofas, right? So the sofas are in the whole way down the house, right down that direction. And they're, they're all in here as well, around there. It makes a really nice tidy job of the inside. This has to be sorted out yet here, but that's when the faces go on. So the sofas are all in, which means that we can start then um, getting ready for the boys coming on Monday. So there's three plasterers and two labourers coming on Monday. Um, the labourers will keep them going while they're plastering because they need a lot of plaster and remember our little mixtures we had look what we've got this time for Monday we've got that thing there it's about a meter in diameter and a meter deep and there'll be some stuff goes into that and they just need that's the quantities they need to mix at a time to keep this thing going it has to go on fast and it has to go well it obviously has to go wet but it has to go on fast and then they get the back that's the back coat and then the, 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 the dash goes on on top they mix it up in a bucket, they don't mix the dash in this here, just the back coat. And that's it there, guys. That's the, that's the stuff, right? Just for you, just for interest's sake. There's 55 bags of that, and there's 43 bags of that. And on that trail, there's a total of 870 pounds worth of uh, stuff, okay? And there's just two small pallets. You wouldn't believe it. There's two and a quarter tons of material on that trailer and uh, we picked it up yesterday it's called Kaolin Karen it's made up in Larne in a big quarry 
a big lime quarry it's a huge place and uh, we picked that up yesterday 870 pounds what's that in dollars about well a thousand dollars is sixteen hundred a thousand pounds is sixteen hundred dollars so about fifteen hundred dollars for that there so uh to say it was it's, it's not cheap but it's going to make a great finish the finish is going to look like this i want to make sure i don't get somebody walking down the street the finish is the finish going to look like the gate but we've had a, we've had another decision made about the coins see the coins here they're getting lighter and lighter and the, the plaster said to me that the way we had the house before with the dark gray coins and the buttermilk looked much nicer than leaving it this cut leaving them this color here so uh we might paint them, we're not too sure. The problem is, all the windowsills are different colours because they're different, they were done at different times. Here's like a bluey colour, a grey colour, and there like a, a pale grey. And then you can see the sofas all down there as well. So they're going to do this side, the far side and the front on Monday, and then they're going to do the back, on the back I think, and they're going to do the peak next week then. And one of the guys is coming with a labourer next week because they put a scaffold across. And I'll show you what their problem is with the scaffold. Um, that little narrow passageway is, is almost 8 metres long but it's only about, about 2 feet wide, about 60 centimetres wide so it's hard to get scaffolded up so we're going to have to do two, whoop, two platforms and they're called Walkman but they're only 5 metres wide, no 4 metres wide they need two 5 metres so they're going to have to work out some way of getting 3 platforms or 6 platforms to get up to the top because they still have to get right up to the top of the house there as well you know so they're going to do this part of the house from here down and the other side in the front and then next week they'll finish the outside at the back but that's what one man can do it on his own but it'll take three men to do the rest of the work you know so my job for the weekend is to mask off all the coins and the windows and all unless I want them they, they'll come and they'll go around behind the other the laborers will go around behind the guys dashing with um, water and wash everything down really quickly to get the, the, the dye off in case the dye goes into the, 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 the cement and it's not that critical, so I think we will paint, you know. But uh, as I say, it's it's all taking shape now, you know. So we've been busy today, and my mate's been brilliant, you know. Really, really good. And I can say nothing about them because the the guy the guys are just wonderful. I uh, I did a video the other day about the boys in the stilts, and I made a mistake when I set the video in the office. I set the camera down. I left it running for whatever length of time was left in the battery and it wouldn't upload to the, the computer there's some sort of fault so I restarted everything and it went up okay so just to filter out it's only 56 or 58 seconds of, of the boys in the stilts but some people have said they've never seen that so they wanted to see it so I thought well they didn't say they wanted to see it I decided to show them you know so if, if you just look over here um, we've got more stuff <laughs> more stuff this is the fascia boards. Uh, it's the fascia boards and soffits. Um, those are the soffits there. And I'll just show you a nice clean one. So that's that's what that's a soffit there. Um, and that, that's what that's what it looks like, you know. So I'll just cut it the length, obviously. And then these are the fascia boards. Um, the fascia boards are just they're all packed up. Um, they're just 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 white white board, and uh, then they go up and they cover up all the sins. And as Shimmy said today, when the boys get all finished and everything and the job's complete, he'll come back here for a day and touch up and fix anything he's not happy with, so that if uh, so that everything's perfect, you know. So if there's any wee things we notice or he notices, and he's always there's wee things he notices that I wouldn't see, you know, like wee grains of sand he rubs off and that. So he'll be going around the house and make sure it's perfect so it is going to look really lovely, you know. So as I say, there's the, there's the stuff for Monday. And the big mixer, that came with a big crane, drip, drip, drop it off the lorry. So I'll park my car across here today because, or tonight, because I wouldn't like to think of somebody coming down um, and seeing that load of stuff and say, that would look nice in my house, you know. So I'll just turn the camera around in case I get somebody outside. So that's where we are, folks. And... I'm delighted, I'm really pleased, you know, and we all laughed about the size of the skip, and look, imagine showing people the, into your skip, but I'll just let you see, we managed to fill it up, so, uh, 
There you go. This is the last time you'll see the house looking like this. Next time you see it, it will be all done and sorted. You can see up there, wee bits of tape and stuff that we're, we use for putting silicone on. And they'll come down on Monday then, you know. So that's it. And we can actually move stuff into the front room again if we want. But we're not going to. We're going to wait until... Um, oh, see, that's the thing I was going to say to you. Look, I come into the house because it's getting, it's getting busy again, you know. But um, that's the thing I was going to say to you about the, the carpet um, Jimmy said you can get, get the carpet down before you put the skirting board down and then it looks like a real tidy finish because when you, carpets are turned over at the edge when they try to fit them and it's always a wee bump and he doesn't like that so he said get the carpet fitted and then we'll put the, we'll put the, the what do you call them things the skirting boards on and then if you ever change your carpet it's just a matter of pull it out and slide a new carpet underneath and that's it so, good job. So folks, there we are. Um, at last we're getting somewhere. Now, there's going to be things to do, you know, there's going to be wee things to do. But one of the boys is going to come out and do all this stuff, like putting doors back on, trim, and putting on the, the architrave around here and stuff. That's all got, and it's sitting over at Jimmy's house in his garage. So, uh, what do you call it? We'll, we'll just get that woman in it. But the main thing is that the house is now, we can clean the house now because it's just covered in dust, you know? So we can actually clean it, which would be nice, you know? Because we haven't, we haven't really bothered. We've just used a brush and given it a bit once over. But the, the TV's covered in dust and the computer, and you wipe it down the next day, it's bad, you know? So in a couple of days' time, when the dust from the day, today settles down, we'll do that. So there's 16 minutes. Didn't mean to go on so long, but I haven't done a video for a few days, and wanted to let you see what we're doing here, and if I can see sick. Um, I wanted, what's wrong? Right, I thought there was something wrong in my head. Most of you know I've got this ankylosing spondylitis where you end up going, getting all stooped over. And I've noticed that over the years, I'm going head and over more to the right. If you look at photographs of me, my head's going to the right. I've just noticed standing here that my head is starting, it is getting more as if it's going over, getting pushed over to the right more, you know. I need to be careful about that and attend to my posture. Okay. That's where we are. I'm very happy. I'm going to have my dinner now and maybe fall asleep for a while and then start masking off the windows. Okay, all the best now. Bye bye.